So far in RGS we have only seen something which is on the use of tools and different um, systems and procedures but now in our today's tutorial we will be covering some real world problems with RGS. So what problem we have come up with is uh, this one. I have given an administration boundary and I have layer of road and there are also a layer of structures. So in road we have both polyline and polygon. So the polyline is only where the line of roads are existing and the line polygon shape is also with the width of the road. So what we have to generate first we have to generate Urushova boundary from the provided administration boundary. In short you see something like merging the whole small divisions and making uh, a single unit and then I have to find out the total numbers of structures based on their land uses for each word within a distance of 20 meter from the road so that is I have to find out which of these structures are within 20 meter of the road then I have to calculate the percentage of road based on road area as per the road type for each word so in each word how many roads are there based on road area so definitely in this case we will be using polygon and then we have to compose a standard map showing output both spatial and tabular from question 1, 2 and 3 in a3 size paper so here are my data files and as you can see in the at first what we need to do is we need to make it a single map so there won't be any division so to you know to do that we have to do dissolve so administration boundary and we'll be dissolving it so administration dissolve 21517 and then save it and then ok so we have got our one unit map so there is no division inside it so let's remember what we have to do next we have to next we have to determine which areas are within within 20 meter of the road so this is my road layer and I have to determine which structures these are my structures which structures are within 20 meter from the road so in order to do that go to selection and then select by location then uh, my target layer is obviously structure and my source layer is road polygon so from road polygon we will determine that and then apply a search distance which is in our case 20 meter 20 meters okay as you can see we have our some of the structures are selected and some are not because only those within 20 meters have been selected so let us go to our attribute table and then we can see I have created a field like let's delete it and do this again. Uh, let's create a field and title it. Uh, let's say sorry, it will be text and then press OK. For some weird reason, my I cannot enter any stream, just press 1 and then I'll click OK and as you can see I have got written one or in only the selected areas cross it and then I don't want to see the unselected features so let's go to structure and then go to properties and then go to definition query and go to query builder and wherever we necessary and in necessary right click on it press on get unique values and then select one first press equal to then press one then click ok and then when you click ok again and then you can see 
only those I need is remaining here and rest of them are vanished okay now as you remember we have to do some word basis analysis so I will have to mark intersect this with our administration boundary so now what we'll do we'll go to geo processing intersect our input features one will be administration boundary our second one will be structure and then we'll save it somewhere it will be like structures words structures words okay then press save and then click okay then go to structures attribute table as you can see there is word id there is also the language type structure type and everything i need okay then i will need to export this file let's export it export it to somewhere okay uh, i will use my default location and i will add it to the current map okay then my export output 7 i will convert into it into our excel file in order to do that go to our toolbox conversion to excel table to excel then input table is export output 7 output file will be uh, just renaming it to today's date which is 22.5.17 and then ok uh, then my table is ready let's find my file uh, I think my file is this one okay. so this is my file and what I need to do is I need to show this data in a manner so that I can understand things nothing is understandable from here so go to pivot table press ok and then in my row or field section I will use structure type or no structure use okay structure type i remove and then in my columns i will add word id okay as you can see my words are in ready in here and my structure types are ready in here and so now i need to count them in order to count them i you remember I added one in those necessary necessary structures we needed to count so I will bring the necessary into values so now you can see I have count of everything here just let me highlight it for you so as you can see now i have count of everything word wise so this is how you can do a special analysis like this so let's go back to our art map and we had another thing to do which was we needed calculation of roads okay then go to geoprocessing intersection again and this time we will intersect administration boundary with our road polygon because we need area of the road okay and then press okay okay i have my this thing ready now you can see there is a shape area that means these are different portion of the roads and their area and now just like before i will export it this time this is export output 8 okay i want to add this to current map and then let's do the conversion again table to excel input table will be export output 8 and again my file will be this one 
I'm just adding road and saving it and then I'll get a message okay the file is ready then open this and just do that thing again pivot table now so I will word in here and ship area in rows or no actually row this will be in the values and road type will be in rows so now you can see for local road in word number one we have an area and for primary road there is also an area and you can also see for local kacha road and if we remove the type then you can see for kacha road how much kacha road is there how much paka road is there and how much sin paka road is there so this is how you do the analysis so let's go back to our last part of this session which is we need to do a map okay go to layout view and adjust this by pressing shift and your mouse wheel and drag it over and then move your wheel don't move pressing right right button or left button only your mouse wheel press your mouse wheel and drag this will move swiftly okay now there is a thing we were told to do this in a3 paper so i will so i will go to page and pin setup and then i will select the page size to a3 and then press ok so this will change your map into paper into a3 and then you shift this and adjust it again okay the other necessary things you will do according to your wish and i am only showing you what i want to add the outputs i got in here so go to insert and then go to object and then i want to create this from file so create from file and then browse and then paste your this file suppose the last one i did which was road open this road and then press ok so when you pressed ok and then you can see a table has come up with six words and the sum of the data the full data might not be in here that's because the all of the data were not selected so double click on this box then delete this then this go to object file then browse and then remove your uh, save your previous words then exit and then load your files so as you can see i have got my data in here which was in the first one adjust it give it a suitable position and then again the another one which was road and press ok so as you can see we have successfully added our those files which was excel files in this map 
so the, the other stuff like title scale and other things you can add those from my previous tutorial so this is all for today and for more practical situations and solutions to them keep watching my channel